early years and formation. The Beatles, one of the most iconic and influential bands in the history of music, originated in Liverpool, England. The story of the band begins with John Lennon, born on October 9, 1940. Lennon's early life was marked by tragedy and instability, with his parents separating when he was young. Raised by his Aunt Mimi, Lennon's rebellious nature and love for music began to manifest during his teenage years. He formed his first band, The Quarrymen, in 1956, which laid the foundation for the Beatles. Paul McCartney, born on June 18, 1942, joined The Quarrymen in 1957 after impressing Lennon with his musical skills. McCartney's upbringing was somewhat more stable than Lennon's, although he too faced the loss of his mother at a young age. This shared experience of loss created a strong bond between Lennon and McCartney. In 1958, George Harrison, born on February 25, 1943, joined the band. Despite being younger, Harrison's guitar skills and dedication to music quickly earned him a place in the group. The trio began to hone their craft, playing at various local venues and expanding their repertoire. The final piece of the puzzle fell into place with the arrival of Ringo Starr, born Richard Starkey on July 7, 1940. Starr joined the band in 1962, replacing drummer Pete Best. Starr's steady drumming and affable personality complemented the group perfectly, solidifying the classic Beatles lineup. Hamburg and early success. The Beatles' journey to stardom began in the gritty clubs of Hamburg, Germany. Between 1960 and 1962, the band made several trips to Hamburg, performing marathon sets in seedy clubs like the Indra Club, the Kaiser Keller, and the Star Club. These intense periods of performing not only honed their musical skills, but also forged a deep camaraderie among the members. In 1961, the Beatles' manager, Brian Epstein, discovered the band at Liverpool's Cavern Club. Epstein, a local record store owner, was captivated by their raw energy and charisma. He soon became their manager, helping to clean up their image and secure a recording contract with EMI's Parlophone label, under the guidance of producer George Martin. Their first single, Love Me Do, was released in October 1962 and reached number 17 on the UK charts. However, it was their second single, Please Please Me, released in January 1963, that catapulted them to national fame. The song reached number one on several UK charts, signaling the start of Beatlemania. Beatlemania and international stardom. 1963 and 1964 were pivotal years for the Beatles. Their debut album, Please Please Me, recorded in a single day, showcased their infectious energy and songwriting prowess. The album topped the UK charts for 30 weeks, and the Beatles quickly followed up with With the Beatles, which also saw massive success. In February 1964, the Beatles made their historic debut on The Ed Sullivan Show, watched by an estimated 73 million viewers. This appearance marked their breakthrough in the United States, igniting Beatlemania across the Atlantic. Their first U.S. tour that same year was a resounding success, solidifying their status as international superstars. The Beatles' music continued to evolve, with albums like A Hard Day's Night, 1964, and Beatles for Sale, 1964, showcasing their growth as songwriters and musicians. Their sound began to incorporate a wider range of influences, from folk to classical music, reflecting their expanding creative horizons. Creative Expansion and Experimentation The mid-1960s marked a period of profound creativity and experimentation for the Beatles. The release of Help, 1965, and its accompanying film showcased their ability to blend catchy pop melodies with more sophisticated arrangements. However, it was their 1965 album Rubber Soul that marked a significant turning point in their musical journey. Rubber Soul displayed a newfound maturity in their songwriting, with tracks like Norwegian Wood and In My Life, incorporating introspective lyrics and innovative instrumentation. The album's eclectic mix of styles, from folk rock to soul, set the stage for their future explorations. The Beatles' next album, Revolver, 1966, pushed the boundaries even further. With songs like Eleanor Rigby, featuring a string quartet, and the psychedelic Tomorrow Never Knows, the band embraced studio experimentation and unconventional recording techniques. Revolver is often hailed as one of the greatest albums of all time, showcasing the Beatles at their creative peak. 
The Psychedelic Era 1967 was a year of profound change for the Beatles. The release of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band marked a cultural milestone, both musically and aesthetically. The album's elaborate production, innovative use of studio effects, and eclectic mix of genres made it a defining work of the psychedelic era. Sgt. Pepper's was more than just an album. It was a cultural phenomenon. The Beatles embraced the spirit of the 1960s counterculture, experimenting with mind-expanding substances and exploring new philosophical and spiritual avenues. The album's impact was felt far beyond the music world, influencing art, fashion, and social norms. The Beatles' foray into psychedelia continued with the release of the Magical Mystery Tour, album, and film in late 1967. While the film received mixed reviews, the album featured classic tracks like Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane, which showcased their continuing creative evolution. The White Album and Personal Tensions By 1968, personal tensions within the Beatles were beginning to surface. The band's double album, commonly known as The White Album, reflected these internal conflicts. The album's diverse range of styles, from the hard rock of Helter Skelter to the folk ballad Blackbird, showcased the individual talents of each member but also highlighted their growing divergences. During this period, the band traveled to India to study transcendental meditation with Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. The trip was intended to provide a respite from the pressures of fame, but it also exacerbated tensions among the group. Despite these challenges, the White Album remains a testament to their creative prowess, featuring some of their most beloved songs. The band's internal strife continued to escalate during the recording of the Let It Be album in 1969. The sessions were fraught with disagreements and misunderstandings, and the project was temporarily shelved. Despite the turmoil, the album produced iconic tracks like Let It Be and The Long and Winding Road, Abbey Road, and The End of an Era. Amidst the personal and professional tensions, the Beatles managed to come together for one final masterpiece, Abbey Road, released in September 1969. The album is widely regarded as one of their finest works, featuring standout tracks like Come Together, Something, and the iconic medley on side two. Abbey Road showcased the band's ability to create a cohesive and innovative album despite their differences. The album's polished production and intricate arrangements marked a fitting end to their recording career as a group. However, by this time, it was clear that the Beatles were heading towards a breakup. In April 1970, Paul McCartney announced his departure from the band, effectively ending the Beatles. The official dissolution came later that year, marking the end of an era in music history. Solo careers and legacy After the breakup, all four members embarked on successful solo careers. John Lennon released critically acclaimed albums like Imagine, 1971, and Plastic Ono Band, 1970, showcasing his talent for introspective and socially conscious songwriting. Tragically, Lennon was assassinated in 1980, cutting short a brilliant solo career. Paul McCartney formed the band Wings with his wife Linda, achieving commercial success with albums like Band on the Run, 1973. McCartney's solo career has spanned decades, with numerous hits and accolades, establishing him as one of the most successful musicians of all time. George Harrison also found solo success with his triple album, All Things Must Pass, 1970, featuring the hit single My Sweet Lord. Harrison's exploration of spiritual themes and Indian music continued to influence his work throughout his career. He passed away in 2001 after a battle with cancer. Ringo Starr enjoyed a successful solo career as well, with hits like Photograph, and It Don't Come Easy. Starr's affable personality and enduring love for performing have made him a beloved figure in the music world. The Beatles' legacy continues to resonate with new generations of fans. Their music has been reissued, remastered, and celebrated in countless ways. The release of the anthology series in the mid-1990s provided an in-depth look at their history, featuring rare recordings and interviews. In 2021, the documentary, The Beatles, Get Back, directed by Peter Jackson, offered an unprecedented look at the making of the Let It Be album, showcasing the band's creative process and camaraderie during their final years together. Cultural Impact and Influence The Beatles' impact on popular culture is immeasurable. 
They revolutionized the music industry, setting new standards for songwriting, recording techniques, and album production. Their influence extends beyond music, touching on fashion, film, art, and social movements. Musically, the Beatles pioneered the concept of the album as an artistic statement, rather than just a collection of singles. Albums like Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and The White Album demonstrated the potential of the studio as an instrument, influencing countless artists across genres. The Beatles also played a significant role in the 1960s counterculture movement. Their embrace of psychedelic drugs, Eastern spirituality, and anti-establishment sentiments resonated with a generation seeking new ways of thinking and living. Songs like All You Need Is Love and Give Peace a Chance became anthems of peace and love, reflecting the band's enduring message of hope and unity. Their influence on fashion was equally profound. The Beatles popularized trends like mop-top haircuts, collarless suits, and psychedelic clothing, influencing the styles of the 1960s and beyond. Their evolution from clean-cut pop stars to countercultural icons mirrored the societal changes of the decade. The Beatles' impact on film and visual media is also noteworthy. Their films, such as A Hard Day's Night, 1964, and Help, 1965, showcase their charisma and comedic talents, setting a new standard for music films. The animated feature, Yellow Submarine, 1968, remains a psychedelic classic, blending innovative animation with their music. Enduring Legacy The Beatles' music continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Their songs have been covered by countless artists, and their albums consistently rank among the greatest of all time. The enduring popularity of their music is a testament to its timeless quality and universal appeal. In addition to their musical legacy, the Beatles have left an indelible mark on the music industry. Their pioneering use of the studio, innovative recording techniques, and willingness to experiment have influenced generations of musicians and producers. The Beatles' approach to album production and songwriting set new standards that continue to shape the industry today. The band's cultural impact extends beyond music. Their message of peace, love, and unity continues to resonate in a world often marked by division and conflict. The Beatles' ability to transcend cultural and generational boundaries is a testament to the power of their music and the enduring relevance of their message. The Beatles' journey from the clubs of Liverpool to the pinnacle of global stardom is a story of creativity, innovation, and enduring friendship. Their music, marked by its melodic brilliance, lyrical depth, and stylistic diversity, has left an indelible mark on the world. The Beatles' legacy is one of artistic excellence and cultural significance, ensuring that their influence will be felt for generations to come.